morning from we are up not really early we got a good night's sleep but <clears throat> heading to the esplanade for the 9:30 t-shirt sale the sale we got last time was awesome bought lots of t-shirts been wearing them on this trip so I see a lot of people already kind of lined up so we'll see how this goes and then we have 10 o'clock escaper so fun fun so the two for 30 t-shirt sale was one table of very limited shirts nothing real great did find one shirt with 3x so did pick that up um, there's some ten dollar gems or ten dollar bracelets over here these sets are ten dollars these are fun but nothing real great here we got some gloves but not a whole lot on the uh, t-shirt sale for this trip but there is another one tomorrow so we'll check them out all right <clears throat> very quick breakfast bowl <laughs> on the way to our first activity of the morning we are doing the escape room at 10 a.m. So because of the nature of the escape room, we won't be recording in very much, uh, but we will let you know what we thought of it afterwards. So let's go into the escape room. The escape room is on deck 15, just up from fuel, kind of like a secret unlabeled door. All right, we escaped the escape room because they gave us the answer. Um, we used every second of time and still had a couple more uh, puzzles to solve. So a couple of tips without giving away the answers. Uh, use everything you find and everything you find means something. So one of the problems we had was we had solved a puzzle but never used it. We just went, oh we solved it and set it to the side not realizing that was the answer to another puzzle we did. So you've got to use everything you find. And it was really fun. So once it gave us the answer, we were like, or, or gave us how to find the answer, we're like, oh. So we were close, but we didn't uh, do it on our own. It was a lot of fun, definitely recommend doing it. So the escape room on Quantum Seas was a lot of fun. All right, we are at Challengers Arcade. And Jack, why are we at Challengers Arcade? Because I got surprised and my mom put money on my C pass card. Just your mom, huh? And my dad. Uh huh. copyrighted if I can use it or not but we are back in C-Plex we got bumper cars going on right now with a pretty long line but in each corner of C-Plex there's kind of something else going on so back here in the left corner there is Cornhole we've got the giant Jingo we saw a little bit of yesterday on the other side I've seen some uh, checkers and chess Upstairs, we got ping pong going on, air hockey on the other side. We are now off to Disney Trivia in 270. I think I might pick me up a bite in Cafe 270. We're still scheduled to have lunch in the main dining room, but 
haven't had no food today. <laughs> so I figured out just this morning, when I was down here for the t-shirt shop, the Port Merchant was kind of hidden over here next to this little shop. So I hadn't even been in here yet. The Port Merchant is where you can find your alcohols. Hello. Doing well yourself? Different little items. Here's the beanies. Two for 27 on the Alaska beanies. Pringles. How much are the Pringles? Eight fifty. Eight fifty. Awesome. Thank you. Lots of different items at a very high price, but some lanyards that we haven't even seen yet. Like that. Some Alaska lanyards. That's cool. Some Alaska keychains. Do you know how much? Chocolates. Ah, uh, okay. Lots of little items just in case you need them. There is some. Mosquito repellent bracelet, which was very much needed in Alaska. Phone ring holder, power bank, hair accessories, a cruise adapter power outlet. Very cool earbuds. A bunch of little items just in case you need them. <laughs> Full house for Here we Disney go. Let's trivia. Continue. Number six, all right, so you, I'm asking for two names on number six. So you need to have both of the names to get a point. If you get one of the names wrong, no point. Ooh. Here we go. Question number six. All right, we tied at 24. We missed one song title, we think. We got the movie, but we got the song title wrong. So we got 24 out of 25. Yeah, 24. And now it has to be a dance-off. <laughs> so one. Okay, where's the other, there's the other two. So it was a three team tie, but no other team showed up for the dance off. So that was Jesse dancing like a fool. And having a great time out there. And won like five or six Royal Caribbean hats, which was really cool. So she was very nice and split them up between the families and everyone got the hat and had a good time at Disney Trivia. So we'll get better. We need a perfect score. We missed one question. Oh, I had a great time. Now it is for lunch at the main dining room because there's some cheese sticks and something on there that everyone wanted in the main dining room. So let's head over there for lunch. We are done with our first lunch at the main dining room. It was really good. Steak frites tasted like the same steak we've had for dinner every night. But it's a really good meal. On this way to split up all the wind jammer we've been having. So we're gonna kinda go hang out in the room for a little bit and then I think we're doing a Queen trivia at 345. Another wonderful meal in the main dining room. It was lobster night. It was the royal night. I didn't have any lobster. My steak was good. I took some wonderful pictures in the lobby with the cruise ship background. I had a great time laughing and joking with our friends and family. I had a really good evening. We got a couple more trivias coming up. We'll probably spend a little time in the adult arcade. 
but go from there. We've got a half sea day in the morning, and then Victoria, British Columbia, and we'll see what we're going to do there. We kind of changed our plans a little bit. And we have one more day before we have to head to the airport and head back to Denver. It's been a darn good trip, lots of fun. Memories have been made every time we get older, kids get older. Changes a little bit, but still love sharing all these memories with our family and friends. That's what life's all about, right? We can share it with you guys too. Hope you've enjoyed. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Adjusted the exposure a little bit because there were some lines in it, but we are back in Schooner Bar. It is general trivia at 8.15. We have loved hanging out in Schooner Bar. We've got all of everybody here. Everyone just kind of grabs their spots and we all talk through the trivia and have a good time. It's a good way to wind down at the end of the night. So we'll finish up here with this trivia, see what, how we do, general knowledge you never know. And then we'll head downstairs, go to the casino for a little bit. I think there's a couple of us going to go down. Just kind of finish out the night that way. Been a real great day, great sea day. Wish there was more sea days on this trip, but then again, it's Alaska, so it's been nice having all the ports and doing all the discovery. We've had some amazing adventures. Uh, we will do our three likes and one dislike very soon. To finish up the series and then start discussing our next adventure. So we've got a lot of fun stuff coming up. We are definitely going to see some more stuff in general around Colorado. Um, didn't really talk about it last night. Denver Nuggets won again versus Miami. So we are up in the series 3-1 with a chance to clinch Monday night, which would be awesome. We'll fly home on Monday, so we'll be home in time to watch the uh, game on TV. We'll see what happens if they clinch. Great. If they lose, there is a watch party coming up. And everyone seems to love our watch party videos, so we'll see if we end up doing another watch party. But uh, I'd rather just see us win, period. <laughs> get that first championship to Denver for the Nuggets and uh, move on from there. We'll worry about a watch party years down the road. So we still got another day on the cruise, so we won't uh, clean up the cruise yet, but we're going to have some fun. General Old Trivia and Sooners Bar. So the 9.30 sale is still setting up at 9.33. There's been no t-shirts brought out yet. Wait to see where the t-shirts come from. The watches are coming out. 75% off, 34% off. So definitely some deals on the watches. Where are the shirts? Couple updates so far. So the t-shirt sale was a bust. It was a small stack of shirts. Small stack of shirts that was inside the store. It was the same exact shirts they had yesterday in like no sizes, so not worth it at all. Very disappointed with that, but oh well. Went to guest services, checked on our unfortunate little wood chair from the Alaskan Lumberjack Show. Everything we read this morning online said that customs would not allow us to bring it back through because of possibility of stuff in the wood between bugs and parasites and whatever else. Customs would not let us bring it through. So we went ahead, went to guest services, told them that we had it, what was the best way to dispose of it while still on the ship. Housekeeping uh, came up, met with us, and uh, I think she's actually gonna keep the chair on the ship. <laughs> and she was gonna keep the chair. So, not sure about that, but hey, whatever. Uh, we knew we couldn't take it off, so. Jack was very sad, we got a couple last pictures and videos of him on his chair. But, so, they had said at the Lumberjack show that there was, if you went in to talk to their guest services team, there was a way to work with it. So I don't know if maybe they have treated ones in the gift shop that you switched out for or what the trick is. But we just knew that at this point we weren't going to be able to take it any further. And we didn't want to just put it in a trash can somewhere because that's just rude. So we worked with guest services, worked with housekeeping, and got it taken care of. So that is the update. We are heading to Bingo in 270. Some of the groups are already there. 
Um, one of the things that's fun with bingo, we didn't really talk too much about it, with bingo you get your cards, plus they do, um, we call them pull tabs, um, pop it's I think they may call them here, we've heard them called a bunch of different things, but they're those little, or crack it's, um, we call them pull tabs, but they're little cardboard things that you pull a tab and it shows three symbols if the symbols match or have a blue line through them you win whatever amount says that symbol pays out on the back dollar five dollars ten dollars twenty five dollars uh, and so on so there are some big ones that they've talked about I've never seen anyone win the big ones but I did hear that Jen opened one of the pull tab crackets this morning and did get a $25 one so we have to take that back to the casino at some point today to turn that in so we'll get that taken care of fairly quickly this morning as I don't think the casino is open very long so yeah but we'll head into bingo N4 and 0 N40 who doesn't have a cinnamon donut and a breakfast burrito while playing bingo all the people that are playing bingo So next to Coach, very much not labeled, is this tiny door. It's not even, I don't even know what it's called. But this is where you can find the Royal Caribbean Quantum of the Seas merchandise. They do have cups, they've got some shirts, they got the hoodies, we've got the spirit jerseys. I just picked up this one. Quantum of the Seas shirt, which matches the one that I'm wearing right now. A two for 40. Sizes go from small, two or three X on some, but not a whole lot of shirts. It is the beginning of the season. So hoping you find more later in the season. I did pick up this green Quantum of the Seas shirt the other day. So I guess I spent about $10 more on shirts than I should have. I like to get the shirts when I see them in my size. So this gray quantum shirt is nice, but only up to 2X in that one. The hoodie is... Sure, how much those are right now, and that's basically it for the Royal Caribbean Quantum of the Seas shirts 27 or 2 for 40, I think, on the shirts, and limited sizes, even though it's the beginning of the season. So, hopefully, that changes. The polos, nice Royal Caribbean Quantum of the Seas polos. I didn't really show you that very well. I'm sorry, so that's the regular one. This one. It's only small through large. And it's $60 on that one. Couple large and smalls on those. But not a whole lot of sizes. A 3X in the Royal Caribbean sweatshirt. Sorry, my angles aren't that great, but that's about it. So the executive decision is we're not going to eat at the noodle bar. They don't want anything on the menu that hasn't changed. So we won't be eating there. We're going to Windjammer again. You know, Windjammer ends up winning out every time, no matter what. Windjammer is just the place to go. It is almost the last day, day seven. We got one partial day left, but... Indian fry bread and a cherry's jubilee, cherry cobbler type thing. New England clam chowder. So some different stuff on the menu at Windjammer today. I got a little bit of dessert, a little bit of appetizer. Wow. We went back to the room after lunch at Windjammer. That uh, Alaskan fry bread was really good. 
and then uh, just kind of packed up and got some bags ready to go. So we got most of it set and ready. Check the photos, we're only missing a couple photos, so we gotta do a search on a couple of those. And find some from last night. Now we're just kind of waiting, it's uh, 2.30. We've got trivia in the music hall again. And then we're supposed to dock at five. And the gangway will be down 5.45, we think, so. Just got a couple more activities today. Battle of the sexes. The ladies won the first round. The guys may have won the second round. It's still kind of up in the air on whether they won or not. I don't think they did. Jasmine thinks that she won. All right, so we came up to Name that tune, 2000s music, and this place is packed. Doing pretty good so far, but there's been some songs that are way out of left field. But, eh, we're having a good time. 6 a.m. wake up call is starting to get to me, so I'm getting a little tired. 2000s trivia, we got the Amy Winehouse, and I was like, okay, I'm done. I don't know if I have covered the fact that we have the connecting door, and it's been held open the whole time. So it's open on both sides and has not closed, which has been awesome. We've been able to go back and forth. And everyone's been able to just come in and out. We left this room with the couch. is just kind of where everyone hung out. It was kind of a, cool to have that connecting door. And once we got checked, we have technically arrived at our last port of call. We're pulling up to the pier now. Getting ready to connect us. We are in Canada. We're in Victoria. Right next to the Norwegian Sea. Not a whole lot at this. Here, <laughs> so we'll see what's gonna happen. We talked about taking the bus to downtown. That was kind of expensive. It's like a 15-minute walk to downtown. We're only in port for four hours, so we got a lot of different things up in the air. But we're also thinking about going to dinner, so lots of different things. But hey, we're in Canada. We finished a quick meal at <laughs> quick the main dining room. Just kind of talked, laughed, giggled, reflected on the trip, but we didn't really take much video or photos. Oh, we are now, ah, don't beep at me, he's beeping at me. We are walking on the port, heading to the Canada sign. We'll walk backwards, Daddy, how's that? No, now I can't see. That. Every sentence I say, I'm saying A. Okay. All right, so we're not gonna do too much exploring. We're barely gonna walk around the port. Just kinda go just outside of the terminal area, take a picture with the Canada sign. Pretty much come back on. We've got most of our bags packed and ready to go, so we'll be sending some of our bags down with porters, and then we'll carry off the last couple bags amazing trip and then we'll talk about uh, our servers for main dining room one of the best servers we've ever had we've been on 14 cruises now and she was by far the best server we've ever had our assistant server aj was awesome but our main server was just amazing took care of us she was so good so funny with the kids laughed jokes sang songs she was awesome, so I had a great time. The main dining room, definitely getting all thumbs up from us on the survey. But we'll go ahead and still have a couple moments with a couple more exciting things for the trip and go from there. But we're walking up to the Canada sign. Woohoo! Welcome to Canada. All right, it is also Sunday, so we have heard that a lot of stuff is already closed. 
It's another reason why we're not really going too far. That a lot of the stuff is already shut down. Welcome to Victoria, Canada. Walk over to the little wharf area. Look around a little bit. Just hang out. About two hours, so we gotta get back on the ship. Over there. And then as we're walking around, there's all these signs. They're really nice. So we're at Ogden Point North, James Bay, Fisherman's Wharf, 600 meters. Downtown, not much further than that. Cool boxcar. Comes a bus. South Oak Bay, number two. I'm sure, people riding that. Victoria Harbor Ferry, water taxi to downtown, Fisherman's Wharf Park. The boys are heading to a slide. So we have made it to Fisherman's Wharf. There's some restaurants here, maybe a couple shops. We're just here for a quick walk and then we'll turn around and walk back. That took us maybe 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. That was like Puerto Vallarta Amigos. I was like, is that a senior frogs? Well, we came, we saw, and now we're leaving. <laughs> so we are heading back to the ship. We only have four hours in port. We wanted dinner, so didn't have a whole lot of time to do much exploring. It's a Sunday and a lot of the stores already closed, so the only thing open were restaurants. So, it was a good time, it was a short time. We plan on coming back someday. And we'll come back into Seattle, maybe take the ferry over. But, so we're gonna walk back to the ship. And probably that's it, we might just chill. Everyone's gotta pack a little bit. I don't think there's any really activities going. The casino's closed for the rest of the trip. All the markers telling you how far away stuff from you are. I like that. Back to the ships. Well, good morning and goodbye. That is it for our Alaskan adventure. We are heading to the terminal now, collecting our bags and heading to the airport. It's been morning of packing we ran to windjammer got our last bit of food that we're not gonna eat <laughs> i hate wasting food but it's ready to go you had a good time buddy yeah it was very fun yeah well we will let you know if anything exciting happens between here and the bus let you know how the bus service works and uh, go from there so we'll see you when we get off the ship we are back at the port of seattle Say goodbye to the ship. It's a great trip. We did the walk yourself off exit, so we didn't have to wait for a number to be called. We just walked right off. Elevators weren't too bad. We did fill up ours. So that was rough. Now we've heard the elevator inside baggage claim is a little rough. We'll see. We'll let you know as we get through that. Say goodbye. Quantum of the seas. We are using the Seattle Express. The bus is here waiting for us. We just loaded everything up. So we're gonna hop on. All right, we are the first ones on the bus. So we will be here for a while waiting for this to load out, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, we are all loaded up. We've got more of our party together. Heading to the airport. Right, you guys, 18 miles southbound to the airport. Southbound and now up and trucking. Look at this guy. Ain't you special? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't you special? The tide is going down. Uh, 8:20 and we have left the like port area. So if you booked the Royal Caribbean transport from the terminal, they drop you off down here at the bottom of the garage. You have to walk through the garage. Take the elevator up to the Sky Bridge, 
to get over to the main terminal to check in for your flight. The way we booked it, they're dropping us right off at the terminal. Seattle was a breeze. Um, TSA pre-check, walked right up, checked us. Uh, screening, there wasn't a long line at screening. And the only thing that caught me was my belt. Jen, her bag got pulled because of her gummies, her fish, her gummy fish. And uh, mom got pulled for her insulin needle ice packs, which shouldn't be a thing people notice or get pulled for, but yeah, that should be a normal thing. But she got pulled for that. So we are down at our gate, uh, only negative. We got delayed by about a half an hour. So no big deal, gives us a little bit more time to kind of compose ourselves with this trip. We'll go from there. Having uh, get some breakfast at Kidoba. All right, so we took the Seattle Express from the port to the airport. Real easy, great check-in. Um, one of the best benefits was being dropped off right at the um, departure desks versus the Royal Caribbean shuttle drop you off at the back of the parking garage and you had to drag your bags all the way through. So, real good drop off, good service, great driver. He was giving us a lot of history as we drove by different uh, buildings and you know pointed out different things along the route. So, really good, would definitely book with them again. So, that's the bus review. Still in Washington, I haven't left Seattle yet. Flight's been delayed multiple times. Then we were told we we're overweight and they needed five volunteers. We have six. Now we're down to they needed one volunteer. We're still waiting. We're supposed to load any minute, but we'll see what happens. Well, now we're on a ground delay. FAA ground delay. Not Southwest delay, but FAA ground delay because the weather in Denver. Now we're not scheduled to leave for another hour. 12.47 and we're finally loading on the plane. There was a lot of pre-boards, so we'll see how this uh, plane, how full, we know it's full. But we'll see how full the seats are when we get in and we were C40, so. You ready to get home, buddy? Yes, I'm ready to see our dogs. Ready to see the puppies. Latest update, we're delayed. He said Denver is gridlocked. So they don't know where we're going or what we're doing, but we're on the plane roasting. They're trying to cool us down. We're still in Washington State. We have the Southwest Airlines, and especially this flight crew. We would finally like to welcome you to Denver. <laughs> Yay. Yay! We're coming next time on Colorado Family Travels. Guys, that is it. We forgot to do an outro for that video, but that's the end of our Alaskan cruise adventure. There is going to be one more video in this series. Uh, I did have an opportunity to go back to Seattle about a month after the trip and was able to do another hotel stay, a little bit of exploring around Seattle. So I thought I'd add it to this series, but that is it for the cruise the royal caribbean part of the trip thanks for watching everybody as you can see there's a christmas tree behind me it is the holiday so happy holidays to everyone out there now for us it's back to the rat race